this is how to solve this type of question welcome to today's lesson in this question we are asked to find the integer values of a b and c now let's get to it first this is let's call this equation one and this equation two now notice that if we say 2021 20, minus 2020 20, we are going to have just one okay so to simplify these two equations Let's say equation 2 minus equation 1, okay? So if we say equation 2 minus equation 1, we will have what? A plus BC minus AB plus C. AB plus C, okay? Is equal to 2021 minus 2020 okay now let's continue so we have a plus bc minus times ab we give us minus ab minus times c we give us minus c is equal to 2021 minus 2020 we give us one now let's collect like terms okay collect like terms so you will have a minus a b okay then plus b c minus c is equal to one all right let's factorize them by grouping this and this have um a in common right so let's factorize a out so a outside a divided by a you have one minus a b divided by a you have minus b okay plus in this case they have c in common so factorize c out b c divided by c we give us b minus c divided by c we give us minus what one is equal to one all right now um by if we look at this this particular bracket and this particular bracket is not the same right both of them are different so we need them to be the same we want them to be the same and to do that we need to multiply this by minus one okay so let's multiply this the whole of this side by minus one so we are going to have a bracket one minus b okay plus c okay we are going to multiply this by minus one right bracket c this is c bracket b minus one this is what i did i multiply this side by minus one is equal to one so we have a bracket one minus b then minus one times c will give us minus c minus one times b we give us minus b minus one times minus one will give us plus one right is equal to one okay so we have a bracket one minus b then minus c one minus b this plus one minus b plus one is same thing as one minus b right 1 minus b is equal to 1. Okay. Now, um, let's solve. This minus 1 is for both this and this. Sorry. Supposed to be in brackets. All right. Now, we have what? A minus c. Okay. Multiplied by 1 minus b is equal to 1. All right. Now, Remember, we are told that they are integers, right? That A, B, and C are integers. If that is the case, then there are two possible values here. They are, you know that 1 is 1 times 1, and 1 is also minus 1 times minus 1, okay? So, we are going to have two cases here, all right? So, case 1 is that... Whatever it is multiplied by whatever it is here is going to be equal to what? Minus 1, right? So, we are going to have that A minus C 
is equal to minus 1, or let's start with 1, is equal to 1, okay? And 1 minus b is equal to 1. Now, let's call this equation 3 and this equation 4. Now, for our case 2, for our case 2, before that, if this is the first time you are coming across this page, please don't hesitate to give this a follow, okay? Please click on the subscription button and on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. Thank you so much. Now, for case 2, it's going to be that A minus C is equal to minus 1 and 1 minus B is equal to minus 1. Okay, so let's call this equation 5 and this equation 6. Now, under case 1, under case 1, let's solve for our A, B, and C. Then under case 2, we are going to also solve for our A, B, and C. Now for case 1, from equation 4, from 4, we can see that 1 minus B is equal to 0, right? So, that means that B is equal to what? Zero. Sorry, 1 minus B is equal to 1. That means that B is equal to 0. Or you can say 1 minus B is equal to 1. Then let's subtract 1 from both sides of this equation. If we do that, we are going to have minus B is equal to 1 minus 1, right? Then we will have... Then we will have that minus b is equal to 1 minus 1 is what? 0. Therefore, our b is equal to 0. All right. So we have gotten the value of our b, the first b. Now, we can then substitute b equal to 0 into equation 1 to get our c. Okay? We are going to substitute b equal to zero into what equation one now when we do that we are going to have a times zero right plus c is equal to 20 20 now a times zero is zero plus c is equal to 20 20 that means that our c is equal to 20 20 let's call this b1 so this is c1 we have found the value of our B1. We have found the value of our C1. It's remaining A1. It's now very easy to get A1, right? Since our B is equal to 1, is 0, and our C is equal to 20, 20. This is going to take long. Let's check here. From equation 3, we have that A minus C is equal to 1, right? So let's substitute the value of A here to get our C. Now, we have that A minus C is equal to 1. That A minus C is equal to 1. Now, our A is what we are looking for. Minus, our C is 20, 20. Okay? So, minus 20, 20 is equal to 1. So, our A is equal to, we are going to transfer this to the other side. It becomes plus, right? 1 plus 20, 20. So it means that A1 will be what? 2021. 20, so we have found our A1, our B1, and our C1. So this is our A1. This is our C1. All right. Now that is for case one. That is for case one. But before I clean case two, I would like to write the values that we got for our A1, B1, and C1 because we are going to substitute them into this to check our results okay so we have a1 is equal to 2021 b1 is equal to 0 and c1 is equal to 2020 okay now let's go into case 2 for our case 2 we have that a minus c is equal to minus 1 right that a Let's start from here because we can easily get B from equation 6. So from 6, all right, we have that 1 minus B is equal to minus 1. Now let's subtract 1 from both sides of the equation. If we do that, 1 minus 1 is 0. We are left with minus B here. 
is equal to minus 1 minus 1 will give us minus 2. When we divide both sides by negative 1, we are going to have that B is equal to what? 2. Okay? So this becomes our B2. We have found our B2 to be what? Equal to 2. Now, let's solve for our A2 and our C2. So to get that, first of all, we need also to substitute this B2 equal to 2 into equation 1. Okay? Let's do that. But let me copy this because I want to clean here. Let me copy our equation 5. Okay? So this is our equation 5. That A minus C is equal to minus 1. This is equation 5. Okay, so let me clean here. Now we have that B2 is equal to 2. So let's substitute B equal to 2 into what? Equation 1. Into our equation 1. So we are going to have A bracket. Our B is 2, right? Plus C is equal to 20, 20. Then we have 2A plus C is equal to 20, 20. Now, there is no way we are going to get the value of A here or the value of C here. Okay? So let's make C the subject of the formula here. Then you are going to see why. Because that is the only way we can actually solve for A or C. So if we make C the subject of the formula, we are going to subtract 2A from both sides, okay? So 2A minus 2A here, for this side, we give us only plus C. So we have C is equal to 20, 20 minus 2A. Now let's call this equation 6. So we now have that C is equal to 20, 20 minus 2A. Now from equation 5, from equation 5, remember that this is for case 2. So from equation 5, 5 says that A minus c is equal to minus one now if we subtract a let's make c the subject of the formula from here as well okay so if a if we subtract a from both sides of this equation we are going to have that minus c is equal to minus one minus a so that simply means that our c to get c we divide through by minus one right divided by minus one divided by minus one this we divide this we have that c is equal to this we divide this we have one this we divide this negative becomes negative it becomes plus positive so it's going to be one plus what a now we also have that c is equal to what one plus a let's call this equation seven now since c is equal to this and c is equal to this then we can say that this is equal to this right so let's equate equation seven to equation six so we are going to have that 20 20 minus 2a is equal to 1 plus a. 1 plus a. All right. Now, let's collect like terms. So, let's... If this one should cross to this side, it becomes minus 1. It's plus 1. is going to become minus 1. So, we have 20, 20 minus 1. Then, this a is remaining here. This plus 2a will cross to become... Um, this minus 2a, sorry, we cross to become plus 2a. So, we are going to have 20, 19 is equal to 3a. So, to get the value of our a, permit me to clean here. All right. So, to get the value of a, we need to divide through by what? 3 by 3. So, we have that 20, 19 divided by 3, okay, is equal to 3a over 3. Now, when 3 divides 3, you have that your A is equal to... Now, 3 divides itself 1, right? Then if you divide 20, you have um, 6, 6, remainder 2. If you divide 21, you have 7. If you divide 9, you have 3. So it means that our A2 is equal to 6, 7, 3. Our B2 is equal to 2. It seems I've cleaned it here. But our B2 is equal to 2. So we have A2 to be 6, 7, 3. B2 to be 2. Now we are looking for what? Just C. But we can easily get that because from 7, from 7, our C is equal to 1 plus A, right? So our C2, which is what we are looking for, is going to be equal to 1 plus 6, 7, 3. That means that our C2 is 674. 
Okay, so these are the second values of our A, our B, and our C. Now, our A1 is equal to what? Our A1 is, sorry, A2 is 673. Our B2 is 2. And our C2 is 674. All right, it's time to check to see if we are right or not. Now, let's substitute into equation one. Equation one says that AB plus C is equal to 2020. Now, let's substitute the A1 and B1 and C1 values. Now, our A1 is 2021, right? Times our B1 is zero plus our C is 2020, right? Is equal to 2020. Now, 2021 times 0 is 0, plus 2020 is equal to 2020. Now, 2020 is equal to 2020. And this is right, okay? That is it for A1, B1, C1. You can actually substitute into second equation. You are still going to get it right. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye.